Okay, so, as you all know, I usually talk most about Broadway, theater, but <clears throat> I'm going to break the mold a little today, because I just saw something, I just came across something uh, on YouTube, a trailer for a film, and I'll post the link for the trailer. I, I can't even fathom. This is, this is a travesty. This is, oh god. It's, it's not to be believed. It is, this, this debacle of a film is entitled The Oogie Loves, The Big Balloon Adventure. You think I'm kidding. You, you think I'm kidding? This is insane! Oh my god. And it says in the trailer, from the marketing visionary who brought us Teletubbies and Thomas the Tank Engine. Growing up, those were my two least favorite children's shows. Give me Sesame Street, give me Blue's Clues, give me freaking Barney the Dinosaur over those two. And now, and now, the director is apparently Oscar-nominated, and I looked at his resume, it was for a documentary about dance, when he was nominated for an Oscar, but, I have to say, his greatest cinematic achievement is the legendary opus that is Camp Rock. Where is film going today? This isn't something you show a, an infant, a newborn. This is disgusting. And I haven't even gotten to the worst part yet. There are actual celebrities in this movie. You have you have Tony Braxton. You have Carrie Elways. You have Jamie Presley. You have Chaz Pulmentary. You, Chaz Palminteri doing like, playing like an Elvis impersonating waiter. You have a, you have Christopher Lloyd. Yes, Christopher Lloyd playing like some tango instructor. And to top it all off, you have Academy Award winner and one of my favorite actresses. Cloris Leachman. What is wrong with film? Who would let these people make a movie? <clears throat> Better question, why would any of these actors be in this movie? Cloris Leachman has raising hope. She's got she can do whatever she wants. Carrie Elvis, he can do so he can do stuff. Christopher Lloyd, he's a living legend. Oh, these poor people. They're probably being blackmailed. Oh my god. I, I, I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm, I'm appalled. Appalled. Good god. The Oogie Loves. The name alone strikes fear into the hearts of innocent people. Oh. And there's a talking fish. There's a talking fish! And it's a puppet. It's a talk you could have had a little CGI. Oh, God. Oh. This is... Let, let's, let's read the synopsis, shall we? It's Schluffy's birthday, and the Oogie loves Gooby, Zuzi, and Toofy along with their friends J. Edgar, Windy Window, and Ruffy, are organizing a party. Shh! It's a secret! Everything is going along just perfectly until J. Edgar trips and loses the last five magical balloons in all of lovely Loveville. Oh no! The Oogie Loves set out to find the magical balloons in time to save their friend's party. Along the way, they meet some very interesting characters, indeed, including Dottie Rounder, Cloris Leachman, 
Bobby Wobbly, Carrie Elways, Milky Marvin, Chaz Balmondary, Rosalie Rosebud, Tony Braxton, and Lola and Lero Sombrero, Christopher Lloyd and Jamie Presley. Can these new friends help them recover the magical balloons and get back to the cottage in time to celebrate Sluppy's birthday party? <sighs> Let me see who wrote this. Scott, let's see. Let's see what he's done. Scott Stabile. I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm, I'm angry. This isn't some, some new show on PBS. This is crap. I'd rather see a Teletubbies movie. And don't get me started. I saw the Thomas the Tank Engine movie in theaters. That was crap. What is What is he written? Nini's tree. Oh, God. <clears throat> God, that's... Yeah. No. No, no, no. Not, not good. This is... That's scary. Um... Alright. So, if I were you, if anyone who watches my videos has small children, steer clear from the Oogie Loves. Please do.